Dear Pixie, There are layers upon layers of explanations and answers to the questions as to who we are, who you are, and how this relates to the planetary ascension process. I can only give you a mere percentage of what the infinite truth really is. As encased as you are in your third dimensional body, in your third dimensional reality, it is impossible for me to explain the all that is in your language. I will try to explain as much as I can. First, you need to examine that which we know as duality. Those two concepts that may seem to oppose each other are in fact both true, and without the opposition, neither concept would exist. There are those in your reality who know this to be true within the field of scientific study. I can liken this concept to the attraction and repelling forces between magnets. This is the electromagnetic force. To the scientifically minded individuals, I tell you that the human vessel I speak through has little understanding of scientific concepts, even though she sees my images. Those of scientific understanding will understand when I say she has many awakened pathways in the right hemisphere of the brain, but not enough knowledge within the left hemisphere for me to bring forth true scientific terminology. But this force I translate to her is the one split second after the birth of zero point into instant duality. This is the point where the wave does not know if it is a wave or a particle. This is because they are both of these ever flowing between one another but always with opposing polarity. All forces within the universe past zero point relate to each other in a polarity duality field. This is why we use the dark and light or the fight between good and evil as our analogy of this law. This is all truth and reality, as you within the field of science have already discovered. This force is being played out right now on Earth in third dimensional reality. There in the third dimension we vibrate much slower and denser and we definitely know if we are a particle or a wave. This is brought forth in humour to those with scientific understanding and is even more so as our human vessel has no understanding of these terms yet she can feel and see the concepts. You of the scientific mind would do well to work with our human vessels. This is how the other polarity achieved much of their information. So therefore, when I say I am both you and also a being totally outside of you, simultaneously I am stating a correct fact. Pixie, you ask am I an angelic being or an extraterrestrial being from another dimension or planet? We are a collective group of beings from your future. We are the fathers and mothers and creators of your higher self. We are part of your interdimensional family. We are the creators of your multidimensional selves that exist on all frequencies and all spheres. We encompass all of you and live within you. Everything we are we give to you. We impart our knowledge and our love, our guidance and protection to you. We have been with you since before you were born and we will remain with you until you make the conscious choice to die and beyond that point also. We are also not with you. You are a self-sufficient entity on your own. I know this is hard to understand but there are so many layers to who you are, to your history and to your future. We are your DNA. We live inside you as well as outside of you. Whilst your DNA may appear so very small inside your body, it is in fact vast. Parts of your DNA that are invisible to the human eye are vibrating at such a fast frequency. They are quantum, timeless, genderless and sizeless. They are completely minute, yet bigger than your brain can comprehend. 
This information has been made available to the receptive ones in part, but now is the time when full understanding takes place as you walk the path of ascension.